Hey everybody, it is the Panda Pandemonium back with another episode of the Pandemorum where we review anime, gaming, and all sorts of other flirty and nerdy stuff. Uh, today's five picks um, of anime, we're going to start off with number one, Jujutsu Kaisen. So let's kick it into high gear with a little bit of supernatural martial arts. It's basically what this is. As far as our plots go, we're looking at sorcerers that are fighting against malevolent curses. Uh, and with the help of their own curse techniques, uh, it gives a kind of a fresh take on supernatural battle shown in genre. It's a very, very well-crafted story. Now, let's look at our characters. Uh, you've got your protagonist, Yuji Itadori, and his peers, and they undergo great, great transformations and growth, uh, both internally and externally, as they battle different creatures and curses and things. Each character is unique and has a good amount of depth. Next, our animation quality. Now we're looking at MAPPA Studio, which we all know they're very fluid, very detailed. Some of the best fight sequences in recent years. So they, they really did outdo themselves. Next, soundtrack and the voice acting. Now, first off, the rock vibes in the dynamic soundtrack are amazing. They hit perfectly. The voice acting is passionate and it definitely brings the characters really gives them a life it brings them to life things and messages now throughout this whole thing there is the the underlying tone the themes of the value of life and death and what it means to have a proper death and a proper life and what those you know what those two things mean in contradiction now as far as personal impact from start to the end uh usually it, you're gonna get your emotions pulled here and there uh, it's not it's not heart-wrenching, but there are definitely some good surprises along the way, so you'll enjoy the ride. As far as comparisons go, uh, think Bleach and Naruto with a dark tone, like you want to like just turn the moonlight on it, you know? Now, as far as your audiences, you're looking at teenagers and up, because it can get kind of violent. There are some mature themes throughout, uh, substances and things of that nature, so keep that in mind. But overall, Highly recommend this as a battle shonen. Uh, so if you love that, definitely check it out. It is a modern classic, definitely in the making. Uh, the Pandamora scale rating, we're gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10. After that, we've got Tokyo Revengers. Now, Tokyo Revengers, time travel, gangs, and emotions. That is what this is about. You got a young man who finds himself time traveling to his middle school days to prevent a future tragedy that involves Tokyo's most notorious gangs. Uh, you got some intriguing twists and unique takes on time travel as well as your as the youth, as the youth of the uh, society. So keep that in. As far as our characters go, Takamichi is our lead. He's deeply relatable and his growth is just great to watch as he go through the shows. Uh, the gang members and the allies each have their own stories and they all kind of tug at the heart different ways. So it's very, very nice in that matter. As far as quality goes, it is solid. Um, you, it's, it's more geared towards the character expressions. It's a lot of depth that goes into the faces of each character and how they reveal and show their emotions. Now your art style complements kind of that gritty gang conflict atmosphere. So very nice, nicely done on that. As far as soundtracks and your voice acting goes, rock bass, once again, these tracks emphasize the tension and the drama uh, the VAs do an exceptional job, especially showing the emotional peaks and valleys of these uh, characters as they go through their, their growth and development periods. Next, your themes and your messages. Now for this one, redemption is the whole thing of this arc. Redemption, impact of choices, and is there a possibility to change one's fate? So those are kind of your things and messages for this one. Uh, next, the personal impact. Again, you're looking for an emotional roller coaster on this one. You're gonna be crying, you're gonna be cheering, you're gonna be laughing, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, it's great. As far as comparisons go, I got a mix of Erased and the gang conflict that you'll find in Banana Fish, which if you haven't seen it, both of those are must watches. We'll get to those in another clip. Uh, the sustainability as far as your audience goes. Now your audience, this is suited for older teen to adults, 
There are a lot of mature content. This is not one for the young ones. Keep that in mind. Now, overall, it is a heart-wrenching journey worth every second. And if you love drama and action, this is definitely for you. Now, overall, I would give it a 7.9 out of 10 on their Pandemore rating. Next to your eternity. Uh, now, this one, you're definitely gonna have to get the tissues ready. Uh, as far as your plot goes, you got an immortal entity who takes on various forms and they learn about life, love and loss through a unique and episodic narrative that is beautifully mwah, chef's kiss, beautifully executed. Uh, the characters, uh, you've got your protagonist who starts as emotionless and basically a void. They're nothing and they grow and evolve into different shapes. And as they do, they learn different emotions, different states of being, different states of living and dying. Uh, it's a very, very unique point of view on this one. Now, as far as your animation quality, it is poignant. It is beautiful. It is aesthetically pleasing. Uh, the serene landscapes, they contrast the moments of very, very intense in, and, and viral emotion in the in the show. So animation quality is a one. Uh, now, as far as your soundtrack and your voice acting, it is touching. It is very emotional, as I keep saying. Uh, the acting especially is very good in depicting and dictating uh, those those qualities of the soul's being that they push through. So they did a very good job of that. Uh, as far as your themes and the messages of the show, they talk about life. They talk about human resilience. They talk about love and sacrifice. So again, this is one of those, you can possibly see some tears being milked out. Just saying. Now, for your personal impact, it is again, moving. You want to make sure that you have tissues ready because it will make you contemplate life. So just a heads up on that. All right. Now, as far as the comparison goes, uh, think of it kind of like Kino's journey with a stronger emotional punch. Now, as far as the audience, it is for teens and above because again, this could be emotionally taxing and some of the scenes that draw on those feelings will push some of the younger ones to a place they don't need to be. So keep that in mind. Overall, again, it's a philosophical journey that is a must, must watch for those who enjoy those emotional styles of narrative. Uh, overall, I will give it on the Pandemora. It is an 8.5 out of 10. Number four, Hori Mia. Uh, now this one is, is high school romance with a twist. It's great. Uh, the plot in general. You have schoolmates who discover each other's secret lives outside of school. It's a very, very sweet slice of life narrative with deep, deep introspective uh, on both of those main characters, as well as the other individuals in the show. As far as our characters, as we were saying, you have Hori and Miyamura. Uh, they're well-developed and they're relatable. The casing in the show, they kind of hide themselves in different places. Uh, and so this allows the side characters to come out and shine very well written in that aspect you have the animation quality it is bright it is clean it is well well animated it is one of the best modern romance story animes out in a while now as far as your soundtrack and your voice acting very soft melodies they complement the romance the voice acting spot on spot on it is a well well done uh, they allow the nuance of young love to really persevere in their voices. So amazing job to the voice actors on that. As far as themes and messages, uh, they talk about acceptance, self-worth, and the different facades that people can wear. Um, this is something that's really huge in all of our lives. You know, the mask that people wear. So it, it touches on that very well. Next, comparisons. Now to give you an idea, uh, you're looking at vibes similar to Toradora, but a little more modern. So if you like Toradora, this may be for you right up your alley. Uh, as far as audience goes, you can for teens and up once again, there are some mature things, but nothing too over the top. So PG 13 ish. All right. And now overall, the assessment is that it is a refreshing take on high school romance. Uh, definitely. If you're a romantic, this is for you. All right. Pandemore score nine out of 10. Again, very, very well done for this one. And finally, number five, 
Vivi Fluorite Eyes song. This has got AI. It's got music. It's got a journey across time. It is. It's great. <laughs> it's mind blowing. Um, the plot is basically you have an AI named Vivi who aims to bring happiness through her singing. However, she's tasked with preventing a war between the AI and the humans. Um, it's a sci-fi narrative packed with action and emotion. It is interestingly done. I will put it that way. All right. You have your characters. You have Vivi's journey as a mere AI to someone with a deep emotional attachment. Right. And, and her emotions that were plugged into her are they they are very, very touching. Uh, you have a supporting cast that pushes the death narrative of the story very, very well. As far as animation quality, it is exceptionally detailed, uh, especially during concerts and the, the musicality and the reactions of those situations as they occur. And the futuristic settings are quite breathtaking. Now, as far as the soundtrack and the voice acting, again, given the musical theme, the OST, fantastic, amazing. Uh, Vivi singing sequences are very, very nicely put standout moments. And again, the voice acting, especially for Vivi, top notch top notch now as far as themes and messages again essence of life what it means to have a heart and soul the potential consequences of ai evolution these are the topics that are being discussed throughout the entire show now your personal impact that you might get uh well it is a gripping tale it kind of blends action with profound moments of reflection uh so keep an eye and keep it keep an eye out for those and keep a what do you say keep a napkin <laughs> by the bedside all right. In comparison, as far as what it may look like, you're looking at Violent Evergarden meets Ghost in the Shell. So if you can think about those two combined. That's kind of what you're looking at. This is for the older category. As far as your audience, this is for older teens and adults. OK, there's some very complex things. Nothing. Nothing too out there, but they're the themes thematically are complex, so the young ones may not be able to understand it. Uh, and so the action see some of the action sequences are also a bit, you know, rawr. It is a beautiful blend of music and sci-fi and a must watch for those who love deep, deep narrative. All right. And that's it for today. Uh, this is the Panda Pandemonium with Pandamora. And uh, until next time, you guys keep watching and exploring the world of anime and we'll catch you later.